Hey everybody, so I wanted to come to you guys with another video and on this video I wanted to focus mainly on Candy Burris and her family. Um, I watched the Real Housewives of Atlanta's finale last night and you know, listen, I don't know if this is a matter of Candy attempting to still have a storyline or is this just really what it is? Or are they creating issues? Is she attempting to create issues to ensure that she still has a spot on Real Housewives of Atlanta and sacrificing her marriage in the process? Now, um, as you know, Candy has been on the Real Housewives of Atlanta for the longest. And I think she's probably one of the most successful and what I mean by that, not just in terms of money wise, but um, how smart she is to use this platform to um, basically create businesses and to promote the businesses that she do, she does have. She promoted and, you know, bedroom candy from the beginning on here. This was a brand new startup um, that she invested in and look at it now It's huge. Okay, um, just all the little stuff, the dungeon, everything that she's done has been um, uh, fueled and, and, and um, you know, spearheaded pretty much by this platform, which is very, very wise for her. I mean, if multiple streams of income was a person, it would be candy. So for that, I absolutely admire her. I admire her tenacity. I admire what she has done and the fact that she has created generational wealth for her kids for, you know, and their kids, kids and their kids, kids, kids. I, if they, if they do what they need to do and they hold on to that money and do what they need to do and invest it, they're going to be straight. All right. Candy. Uh, and I will give it up to Todd too. They've done that. Um, but you know, I'm getting a little tired of this whole um, Mama Joyce, Todd Tucker storyline. We've seen it for years. And I don't know if it is Candy's attempt to just stay on the show. To be honest with you, Candy, I used to say to myself, Candy doesn't need this show. She has so many different, you know, uh, ventures. She got old lady gang and stuff. Again, all of this being propelled and, and the brainchild and, and pretty much created through the show. A lot of her businesses. So on one hand, I see why she wants to stay around. I get it. I absolutely understand why she would want to stay around, right, um, is advertising. But at the expense of what at this point? So I was watching the show last night, and I've watched it for several weeks here, and you see this tension brewing between her and Todd, right? Um, basically, Candy has, you know, she's been in the acting game for a minute, but she's just added more to her schedule and she's constantly busy and it is definitely affecting her home life. It's affecting her, um, her baby, her baby boy, um, Ace <clears throat> It's affecting, you know, she had, she had a baby on the way, obviously it was a surrogate. So she felt like she was still able to move about. Um, Riley told us a while ago, told her mama, don't have no more babies. You, you too busy to have more babies. Why would you do that? But you know, Candy does what she wants to do. Right. And you see this tension between her and Ty. Ty is like, you need to make more time for your family. But what does Candy do? She goes out and she creates more opportunities for herself. And it's like, she's just so overly ambitious. And again, I don't, I don't want to um, penalize a woman for being able to do what a man does. And the fact that she wants to go off and do these things. And he is pretty much, 
um, holding down the fort at home. I don't want to penalize for her, her for that. But at the same time, it's like, Candy, you have a lot of money. You don't have to keep doing this. We understand your ambition, but you have decided to bring another child into this world and you need to be around. You really do. Um, you know, she's doing too much, in my opinion. But that ain't really what I'm here to talk about. That's just kind of the premise of this season. So uh, we see uh, there's still tension between Todd and Candy. And they have this impending, they have, a, they have the baby. The baby is coming. The baby is arriving, you know, in just a matter of weeks, right? And uh, they have a baby shower that they're planning. And she kind of puts Todd and her crew um, in charge of that. But we also see Mama Joyce. <laughs> what was so funny about this this episode is Mama Joyce telling this story about the lunchbox. All to basically say that she don't trust Todd. It was the most random thing ever that she told the damn story about the lunchbox. And how somehow she was able to connect it to not trust in Todd's ass. And that just bothers me. That bothers me that Candy, even now, after all this time, her and Ty have been married, they've been together, that she still allows Mama Joyce to be manipulative in her marriage. And she has a tendency, and I've seen this with, with her and, and, and uh, Kenya and other situations, she has a tendency to hold the wrong people accountable for their actions. So you see this tension still between Mama Joyce and Todd after all these years. And, you know, I've never been a huge Todd fan, but I was absolutely team Todd last night because I had gotten to the point where I'm just like, okay, Mama Joyce, you just really grasping at straws. You We already saw many, many episodes ago how, Candy approached Todd and was like, well, my mama don't pay, basically, she don't trust you. So she leaving all this to Riley and she, did, you know, again, Candy probably, um, sharing way too much to, for, to Todd, you know, and, and I don't know what the purpose is. Is it to create more divide is to hurt his feelings on purpose? I don't know. I've, I've never understood why Candy shared how her mother feels about Todd with him constantly. I think he knows by now. But to see how Mama Joyce was acting yesterday, just to see how she was being such a baby and manipulating Candy all the while, and then it somehow um, turned into this tension between Todd and Candy. Now, Candy was putting on, like I said, this it's, it's this star-studded type of baby shower, which, to be honest with you, I didn't understand the theme. I just thought it was a little extra and uh, it, it was just, it, it just, to me, it was a flop. It didn't look that great. They had rented out a movie studio. I mean, you know, like it, it movie set or whatever it was, it was just weird. But anyway, so they're getting ready for their baby shower and Mama Joyce decides that she is not coming to the baby shower because Todd didn't speak to her. Now, Mama Joyce, we got to give it up to her for being the queen of petty. All right. She was on her petty in last night's episode. It's kind of funny, but it's not because it's at this point now. It's like, okay, Candy, you got to make a decision here. Now, when you marry Todd, you cleave to him, right? That meant that that household should come first. You've, she's always taking care of her mother. Her mother is set. But I feel like Candy allows herself to be manipulated by Mama Joyce. And Mama Joyce ain't going to be happy until Candy is single. She's just not going to be happy. Mama Joyce has been married several times. And who knows why she couldn't keep a husband or, you know, stuff like that. But, but the point here is, is that she's extremely manipulative. And Candy allows herself to be manipulated by her mother. Now, again, not coming to your daughter's baby shower because her husband that you claim you don't like, didn't speak to you. If you don't like him, why are you so pressed if he didn't speak? And I think Todd has had a lot of patience 
with Mama Joyce here. Now, Mama Joyce, if you recall, Mama Joyce didn't call his mama and daddy pimps and prostitutes. You know, he she has accused him of wanting to take Candy's money and, and sleeping with her best friend. All the kind of foolishness that Mama Joyce has done over the years. And, and yeah, we laughed at it and, you know, ain't no mountain high enough to keep me off your ass. Yeah, I remember, I remember all of the little things that Mama Joyce have done. And yes, I've, I've laughed at him, but I keep thinking to myself, Candy, you keep this up. You ain't going to have a husband. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, he just there with Candy for the money. Listen, as far as I'm concerned, Todd ain't done nothing uh, to, I don't know, uh, warrant a divorce from her. She seems to be a content with whatever his role is in this marriage. So until Candy makes that decision, like he's done something terrible, he's done something wrong, he's using me, then I have nothing to say on that matter. All right. So if that's the case, she needs to do better by her husband and needs, she needs to go ahead and put her mom in her place. And we know that Candy won't do that. Candy holds the wrong people accountable. She was upset with Todd because Todd, in her eyes, you know, made the situation worse with her mother because she, because he didn't speak to the mama. I mean, come on now. That was the stupidest thing to me. Just dumb. It was so stupid. And I'm just thinking to myself, what else does this man, why, why does he have to be the ass kisser? Why does he have to kiss Mama Joyce's ass, whom he knows doesn't like him just to keep the peace. When she constantly is showing him over and over again, I don't like you. I don't trust you. I don't like you. I mean, how, how much does this man need to take? And like, like I'd say, a lot of people speculate he's only putting up with it because of the money thing. He's going to put up with it. He's going to stay with it because of the money. I don't know that to be true. I do think that he genuinely loves Candy. And so when we saw them at the baby shower last night, which was just so weird, they were all dressed all different. I'm like, are these, are that whole, whole family looked like they was just going to a damn, to the park. I'm like, she's all glamorous. He ain't matching her. The kids don't look like they going anywhere. The surrogate, I'm like, you could have at least got her a dress. I, it was just weird. Like the whole setup was just weird. And then the, the, the women fighting at the thing, I would have, kick their asses out of my baby shower but it was just a weird baby shower overall it was just really odd and I wouldn't have even if I had known that a baby was coming I wouldn't know that was a baby shower it was just really odd it, it, people just do too much but anyway Ty ended up apologizing to Candy but again Candy's mother's not there so who should be apologizing how is she more hurt or more upset with Todd and not upset with her mother that her mother wouldn't even come to the damn baby shower. That's manipulation. That is manipulation. And Mama Joyce has been doing it for years. And Candy won't stand up to her mother. Candy uh, continues to allow her mother to manipulate her. And I don't understand it. I think Todd has been more than accommodating and more than, okay, I'm just going to turn the other cheek, even though you call my mama a prostitute and then shortly after his mother died you remember that and the fact that he's still in that family he's still there candy need to realize that her mother is manipulating her and her mother ain't gonna be cool until she is single like her that that's 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 my take on this candy's mama mama joyce ain't gonna be happy until candy is single like her she just not She's just not. And I, and I don't understand why Candy still allows this, but I do think that for Candy is strategic. She allows this to keep going because it gives her a storyline, but I don't think the sacrifice is worth it. Right. They have a beautiful family. Candy has, like I said, a million bags, but I just don't think it's worth it to see how Mama Joyce is acting. Mama Joyce was wrong to me. She manipulated the situation. She's the one that hurt her daughter. And yet somehow Candy managed to make it Todd's fault. And Todd ended up apologizing to his wife. And I just thought, like, Candy, get it together. Get it together. So I am definitely team Todd on this one. And Candy has got to put her mom in her place and hold her accountable for her behavior. Or she ain't going to have a marriage. And that's just my take on it. That's what I observed. I know other stuff happened on the episode, but... 
I just really wanted to focus on candy because I don't know, that just bog that just bothered me. That just bothered me. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about that episode. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. See you guys. Take care.